Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. It's time to check out the all new Echo Show 10 from Amazon. A big thanks to Amazon for sending this over for us to check out. Now this is a smart display with motion. Yes, the display will tilt. It can follow you around the room and there's a lot of other use cases for it. Now Amazon says this movement is completely silent. So I'm excited to test that out in this video. I have to give a big thanks to MediaTek for sponsoring this video. The Echo Show 10 has the Amazon Easy One Neural Edge processor inside, and at the silicon level, it is a MediaTek chip. MediaTek's actually the number one chipset maker in voice assistant devices. It's in the Amazon Echo, the Echo Dot, and now the new Echo Show 10, which makes the Alexa experience even more responsive. We're going to unbox the Echo Show 10, take a quick look what comes inside, set it up, and then of course, test out the features of the Echo Show 10. I'm really excited to see if that swivel is actually silent. So we will check that out in this video. So let's get started. Here's the new Echo Show 10. As the name suggests, this is a 10 inch display. Let's go ahead and take a look at what Amazon has to offer. Inside you have a couple getting started booklets and also this piece of paper, which just about lets you know how much space surrounding the Echo Show 10 you should leave. And then if you do put it near a wall, you can run the device mapping. You have a proprietary charging cable connecting to the wall at 30 watts. And finally inside is the Echo Show 10. Wow, I uh, can't get over how much weight this actually has to it, which now that I think about it, it makes sense with all the speakers and the motor inside. It definitely has some weight. So that was everything in the box. Let's take a close look at the Echo Show 10. Down at the bottom, there is a lot of grip all the way around. You don't have to worry about it sliding at all. There's a bit of a slot right here for that charging cable. And this is the only port in the Echo Show 10. Now, when it comes to it turning with that motor, it will have a stopping point there. And then if I go all the way around, it'll stop there in just about the same spot. So again, 360 degrees of view. A look at the base where that motor and speakers are built into. There's two tweeters and one woofer. Something I'm really happy Amazon had thought of is that the speakers actually face towards the display. So whatever direction the display is facing is where that sound is going to get pushed out of. So if you're watching something like Netflix and you turn around the room, that sound will also follow you. The 10 inch display rotates with the base left and right. However, you can also tilt it a decent amount up and down. There is a 13 megapixel camera in the upper right hand corner. And I know a lot of people are going to ask, there is a privacy switch, which is a physical switch right up towards the top, which covers the camera. So this cannot be activated automatically. You have to physically close that switch. At the top, we have some microphones built in along with some physical controls for volume. I'm glad they included these. Sometimes I like to just press a button as opposed to using my voice. And I believe this is a mute button. Now let's get the Echo Show 10 plugged in, run through the setup process and test it out. Now I'm gonna run through the startup process of the Echo Show 10 and talk about anything noteworthy. Now I've actually done the whole setup process on the display so far, connected to a network, signed into my Amazon account. Now I'm naming the device, but I wanted to point out the keyboard actually, pretty convenient to type on that they split it up on both sides. This Echo Show can be enabled to monitor your home through the Alexa app. You can connect to it and access the camera. Now I have that enabled, so we'll test that out. So it can be used as sort of a security device. Now, where is your Echo Show placed? I'm going to be putting it on an island so it will be able to rotate and have a uh, free range of motion. I'm noticing the motor is enabled. There's not as much give when I press on the display. Let's go ahead and preview that motion. I think it is doing it slow on purpose to make sure it doesn't bump into anything. So now it's just going to uh, run the other way, make sure everything is out of the way. And we're back and you can adjust how far you'd like it to be able to rotate manually. Now I'm going to save that, let's continue through. Uh, use a slider to set the idle position where the screen will face when it's not in use. This will be dependent on where you have it in the room. So you'll see I let go and look, it just quickly swiveled over to that spot. I'll leave it in the middle for now. Continuing through, looks like we are all set. Our Echo Show 10 is now all set up and ready to go. Let's you know you can use Alexa for your day, but I really wanna try out the follow feature. So Alexa, 
Follow me. Following is now on. Okay, so now it's on. So I'm looking at the screen. I'm going to go over to the left now and see if it follows me. I went behind the camera, didn't recognize it, and there it goes. It is actually following me. I'm going to come back to the right now. I'm going behind the camera. It loses me. And then right here, look at that. So it's actually following me around the room. Now we're going to go ahead and put this in my kitchen and we'll do some more testing. All right, for this part, we are going to go vlog style. Welcome to my kitchen. I even little candle for you. And here is the Echo Show 10. I want to do some testing with it in a real space. Now this is great for me to have it in this spot because I like to do a lot of meal prep right here on the island. And then these seats right here is where I'll have a cup of coffee or maybe a bowl of cereal. Now let's run some commands. Alexa, turn right. So you can tell it to actually shift in a different way. Here's a quick look at the back of it. Now, Alexa, turn left. Alexa, turn left. So there you go, you can do that and see how much it actually turns. And for me, that's in all the good spots that I want it to be. So now that following is on, it will see where I am. Now let's test this out. I'm actually gonna go all the way around the island now and see if it actually can recognize me. It can, look at this. I'm really far away and it's actually following me. So now when I go to this seat, I'm looking at the Echo Show and it is facing me. And again, those speakers will also be pushing out sound towards me. While doing this testing, it's pretty crazy. I can't hear the motor whatsoever, so Amazon was not joking. Alexa, turn right. I can't hear it at all. It's pretty incredible. Really cool. It's clear that the Echo Show knows where the sound is coming from when you activate it because it will shift the display towards you. Alexa, open Prime Video. So you'll notice the camera lens wasn't actually on me, but it recognized where that sound was coming from and completely turned to face me. You can also access your Echo Show 10 through the Amazon Alexa app. There's Tim's Echo Show where you can change some of the audio settings, customize bass, mid-range, and treble to your liking. You can also access your camera from anywhere you have a data connection. And you'll notice on the Echo Show 10, it lets people know it says a household member is viewing your camera and there I am within the app it's great for a security camera now how do you enable the rotation just swipe on the screen and there it goes swipe to the left swipe to the left I can take a look at my entire apartment and also it does have audio coming out of my speakers so not only do you get video uh, feedback but also microphone feedback just to confirm, this button mutes the microphone and disables swivel with the display. You can turn it on and off. And again, it does have that privacy switch where it says the camera cover is closed. So you will not be able to access that camera at all. And again, the Echo Show 10 is powered by that MediaTek chip with the new Amazon AZ1 Neural Edge processor. Let's run it through some tests. So uh, Alexa, who is Tim Schofield? Tim Schofield is a YouTuber with 700 wow. subscribers. Wow. Alexa's pretty smart. Actually knows. Look at that. The amount of subscribers and when my channel was created. All right, let's do some more tests. Alexa, what's the weather going to be like this weekend? In Chicago for this weekend. On Friday, it should be sunny. Alexa, on Saturday, show banana bread recipes. Okay, for banana bread, here's a few recipes. Alexa, What's the tallest building in the United States? The tallest building in the United States. Okay, and I'm actually moving left and right on purpose, and you'll notice when it's responding, it is it has motion on. You can turn it off if you'd like, but as you move, the display moves with you. Alexa, play the boys from Prime Video. Here's the boys season one, episode one. Nice, and you can watch all of your favorite streaming, Netflix, Hulu, Prime Video, all of that good stuff. Alexa, have a nice day. Thanks. And there we go. As you can tell, the Alexa experience is very snappy and quick, and you can also interact with the display. This is a full touch screen 
where you can jump into settings, you can change motion. So you don't just have to use your voice for all of these things. If I swipe down, you'll see motion right there. I can just turn it off real quick. I can have do not disturb on, change the brightness of the display. There it is all the way up now. You can swipe from the right side. It'll give you some suggestions on different things you can do with the Echo Show. And also uh, you can set up routines, very helpful when you come home. It can turn on specific lights. You can change the thermostat. There's different alarms you can use and music controls. And obviously with the camera, you can make video calls, but also Alexa, take a picture. Okay. Get you can even take pictures with the 13 megapixel front facing camera. So there I am. The lighting's not great on my face, but it still looks solid. Uh, overall, we can also test out the video calls. Obviously I wasn't posing for that, but it does have the ability to actually save your pictures and upload them. Okay, so let's test out a video call. I'm pretty excited for this one. Alexa, call Kevin Bieschke. Calling Kevin Bieschke's Alexa devices. Okay, so now it's calling my friend Kevin. And you'll mm. see here, you can turn follow off if you'd like. I have it activated mm. right now. Let's see when he uh, answers it, if it keeps following me. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Tim. How you doing? Good, how are you? Doing good, I wanna show you something. Now check out what happens when I move left and right. So I'm gonna move over to the left. Look at that. Oh, that's really cool. Wait, I'm gonna go to the right now. See how it follows me? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, so this is the new Echo Show 10 from Amazon. All right. Anyways, have a good day. Just wanted to test this out. You too. See ya. See ya. Anyways, that's everything I want to talk about for now with the Echo Show 10. There's a lot more you can do with it. Again, big thanks to MediaTek for sponsoring this video. They are powering this Echo Show 10. Anyways, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. I am really impressed at how well the tracking actually works and follows me around the room. Makes it a lot more useful in various situations, especially when you're on video calls or even when it's responding walking around the room. All right, and one more thing, Alexa, goodbye. All right, and I noticed that some of the responses actually have motion to them. Pretty neat little feature there. I'm sure, you, sure I'll find a lot more the more I use the Echo Show 10. As always, guys, thanks for watching.